Hello everyone and welcome back. This is episode 13, I think, here. And uh, in between episodes, we were doing a little bit of uh, off-camera caving and we came across this guy right here. We yeah. were just mining and hit this and we got so excited. Because yeah. now we're definitely going to make an XP farm out of this. But anyway, if we pop back to the base, I think we have a bit of su uh, surprise for you guys there. And we're just making our way back into the ravine. Waking Here up we are. After a long night in there. And our first surprise has to do with the aesthetics of the ravine. Actually, first of all, let's take a look at our chicken farm and see how it's doing. Yeah, I haven't checked this out. In look a while. at that. And we've been eating a ton of chicken yeah. in between episodes. <laughs> we've been doing a lot of caving, and uh, caving takes a lot of food, so. Don't throw your sword. Uh, I try, try not to. So, first surprise is my brother has very graciously started some really good work on the entrance to the storage room. Yeah, and... So here's what it's starting see, to look like. You may see, like, a little bit of cobble dot around the outside. That represents where I'm going to put in smelted stone um, when I come back. I just didn't have enough at the time. So it's this little pathway, and we're yeah. going to sort of redo some of the, the blocks on the ground as... Um, path blocks and put in like little wood yeah. touches and stairs and make it like this rickety old rundown like cave terraformed cave path uh but, you go in there'll yeah. be an entrance over here to go upstairs to the fishing cave and or you can turn around this wall here and go up and bam it leads into here straight from the grass onto and that, this wood floor and that actually segues perfectly into our second surprise and uh Here's the second surprise. Yeah, also my brother here uh, was busy while I was terraforming. He was uh, working on some other stuff. Um, Number one, I got dogs now. So yeah. <laughs> now we both have our own sets of two dogs. Those yeah, are those his. are mine. These are mine. Yeah. And number two is just the immense amount of mining I've been doing off camera. I mean, this, this here is of nine stacks of redstone. And then we've got like nine more here. Um, yeah, for We've sure. got like... Let's see, a lot of gold. We didn't get many more diamonds. We were very unlucky in that front. But, I mean, by the sheer amount of iron and redstone we've, we've gotten, we've it, it shows how much mining we've done. done a lot there. of mining and, yeah. and, uh, and work. Um, so, yeah, and, and, and we found that zombie dungeon, which is really exciting because we need to make an XP farm, as we yes, talked about in the do. last episode. We do. And that's really our best bet. Yeah. Um, so, anyway, let's pop on with this episode and I think we're gonna got, catch you guys back at the villager breeder and here we are at the villager breeder and we're just gonna do some work here for quite a while probably just to try to get these guys to breed yeah and then to try to get the best trades that we can possibly get with villagers just to further the process of getting the best enchantments we can possibly get for our pickaxes oh are they gonna breed are they gonna breed it wait looks do like we have some breed. breeding action it looks like they might breed. Ooh, this is this is a very important stage because there's only two villagers in there right now, and um, when you have a lot more, they breed pretty quickly. But right now it's pretty slow, so we gotta we gotta wait for them to uh, get going. But that should happen pretty fast. So let's continue, uh, maybe getting some farms together, and when they uh, started breeding, we'll catch you guys back. As you can see, I'm just working on expanding our sugar supply over here by the water line. My brother's clearing out an actual area for a sugar farm, um, yeah. but we need to expand our supply quite a bit before we're ready for that, so we're just going to let this grow and then harvest it a couple of times because we're going to need the sugar to do trades with the villagers in order to get those enchanted books. Oh, we got hearts. We got hearts. Will they breed? Will they breed? Ooh, it's close. I'm not feeling too good. We've seen this happen so many times where they don't breed. But you never know. I'm going to come over here and stare right in their faces. Don't, Because that would, I may distract them. You know? All right, I won't distract them. Yeah. Come over they're, here they're, to the opposite corner. Let them have privacy. Oh, they're at it for a while. They might. My brother says let them have privacy. I'm going to turn away. Yeah. I'll turn away for a minute, watch you clear out the ground, and turn back. Nope. Well, uh, no, there, is there a, is that, is that his arm or is that, okay, that, 
I think that's his, his arm. arm. Yeah, it's his arm. You never know. There, sometimes there's a kid hiding in there. We'll just... Oh, and the other kid grew up here, so we can check his trades at some point. But he's also now able to breed with these ones. Anyway, we'll come back and check on it again in a second. I've got the sugar growing um, over by the water. And we're going to build like a much better giant sugar farm here in just a second. But first, I need to make some buckets in order to uh, carry water over to make the farm. So did you make a furnace? I did. It's uh, underneath the um, green I'm carving out right now for the sugar cane farm. You just go down kind of the cave area. You have to break this, break the dirt? Um, yeah, you do. Oh, here we Oh, yeah. cool. Okay, so we got a furnace. I just found this iron uh, exposed because we forgot to bring buckets. So I just found some exposed iron. What do we have here? Just some different materials. So I'll make some buckets out of this, and then we'll start making the rows of water for the sugar farm. All right, it has been a little while, and none of this sugar has grown at all. So I guess we just got to keep on waiting. And placing the first water bucket for the sugar farm. And with that, all the water is in place, uh, and it's ready for the sugar cane. So let's uh, get on that. So we moved the sugar cane over here to the farm. It hadn't really grown at all over by the lake. Uh, but we decided to just move it anyway because we thought maybe it wasn't growing because it was like under the tree branches and those were blocking it. So now we've got it right here at the farm under the open sky and we just have to wait for it to grow and we have to wait for the villagers to breed. Exactly. And that's our second child born by uh, the two villagers. And so now it'll so probably start running faster as the uh, amount of villagers increases in the farm. And with that, the sugar farm water rows are completely fixed. Sugar they're, still hasn't grown, though. <laughs> they're all full of water, and they're all properly spaced so that we can maximize sugar if only it would grow. And as you can see, the sugar has fully spread down. We've been uh, doing some serious AFK, uh, and every row's filled in. And as you can see, it's growing in quite nicely. We're going to have a ton of sugar here, yeah. which is going to be great because, as you might know, you need to do trades with the villagers in order to unlock their best trades. Of course, trades. yeah. So we need to just have a sugar machine here uh, in order to unlock good librarian trades. And we're looking at expanding down the water canals and the farm uh, in the future. But right now, that's actually not our biggest problem. If you just turn around here, these villagers haven't bred at all whatsoever. We haven't seen even hearts so far. So we're not just not getting lucky. Um... I don't, we don't really know what the problem is, but um, I don't think we can know how to fix it for a while. So we're just going to keep an eye on this, maybe try a few things and we'll, see what happens. Yeah, we'll probably try to fix this or just like make it better in some way, like between episodes, like before we film the next episode. Um, but yeah, I'm not really sure why they haven't bred in so long. Like we spread this sugar like entirely across the area and in this amount of time they didn't breed at all yeah so we're just gonna kinda take a break from this uh, fix the breeder between before the next episode and then for the rest of this episode we wanna go back uh, to our base and start working on our XP farm uh, using the the zombie spawner that we found that we showed you at the beginning of the episode so yeah we need good XP grinder for the enchantment project uh, and it's time to go make it and here we are back at the zombie spawner at the location where we started this video and we're ready to make an XP farm out of this. So the first thing we're going to do is dig out the whole floor and make an area where the zombies are going to fall. Alright, so quick update. We have successfully created the uh, farm room here, the spawner room. Um, all we have left to do is lay in the water and uh, plan a little bit how the killing chamber is going to work out. Exactly. So. Um, but I yeah, this room is leaves uh, four blocks of space on every side of the spawner, yeah, which that's is the, the optimum. optimum distance. And so we can do a little bit of on-camera work here. The actual canal is going to be going right here. We're going to be digging out these blocks right here. And so how it's going to be working is the, the water is going to be placed along this wall, right? And yeah. then... It's going to flow down. So everything will go yeah. to this edge Everything over will here. flow down to this edge. And then we'll have... And it'll work perfectly because it's exactly eight blocks, which is how far water flows. Yeah, to here. And then... And it'll push them off this edge. Yeah, it'll push them off this edge. And then there'll be another canal that runs along just where we're breaking, um, as you can see. And then that will flow down to the kill chamber. 
So that's what we're working on now, and we'll catch you guys back when the canals are done. Oh, he hits hard. I'm low on health. I'm a little scared. Oh, God. Do you want to get out? Oh, zombie. I'm going to die. I could really use help. Get out. Oh, oh my Zombies. God. Down this way. Do you see where I get? Yep. Oh, stuck in a cobweb. Okay, all the water is placed. So now we can show you the path that the zombies will take when they spawn. They'll fall down, and, and you can see my brother getting take, washed to the edge. They'll come right down. And even if you can see, even if they're on the very edge here, you they will still fall into the water, for one, very slowly. I, I'm not touching the keyboard at all. I won't touch, uh, yeah. touch him. Oh, I fall into the water. And we have a canal down come here. Down. Which pushes you this way. Into a killing zone. And Maybe at some yeah. point in the future we will uh, make like a, a drop shaft or something here to, to bring their their health down. But for now, we basically have a functioning farm. Yeah, let's just make. We just the need water to close it off. All, all the way. Uh, perfect. Put in a block. Like, well, first we have to break the torches, right? Yeah, let's break the torches. This will be an exciting part because we don't want mobs to spawn. All right, you, can you handle it, or should I? First. All right. Let's do the torches. Well, for, yeah, first let's do the torches on the walls. I think we can do that pretty safely. Okay. I'll be here watching you. Okay, we're back in and... <laughs> trying to remove these torches. It's very difficult to uh, to get this set up. All right, I'm just going to go. I'm just going to go. I'm just going to go. Dangerous nature of the all situation. Up. Get them all up. Get them all up. I'm, I'm breaking the block. Wait. Oh, wait, hold up. I'm breaking the block. <gasps> I just remembered something. They can spawn on top of this. Come on, torch. Get up! All right, they can spawn the on top of the spawner. On top we have of the to spawner. Put blocks like it's fine. It's so fine. Oh, oops! Perfect. I locked you in. I locked you in. All right, give give me give me. Uh, I broke I broke it. Okay. All right, come out! Come out! Come on! Come on! Come on! Uh, I got it from the back. I I I'm, I'm go I have to go by because yeah, there'll be just more go by. In. Just go by. Um. Just, there we go. Perfect. Okay, we basically have a functioning uh, <laughs> farm. zombie farm now. Look it's, at this. It's not state of the art. Look at this. But it's functioning. <laughs> It's an XP farm. We have an XP and a farm in the world. Farm. Wow, it goes guys. really fast. Guys, this I is... I think it's okay if they spawn on top. They'll just fall off. I put the block... I got the blocks in. While you were fighting that guy, I got the blocks in. What do you mean? What do you mean by that? Um, Basically, uh, zombies can spawn on top of the spawner. The actual spawner. So you have to put blocks to the ceiling of the farm on top of... Uh, I'll get out. On top of the spawner. So that oh. they don't spawn on top of there, because that can fill up the mob cap eventually. So just, uh, it's good for long term. But wow, we so we got a working XP <laughs> farm here. Um, one other note is we think we have a hunch. We're not a hundred percent sure, but we have a hunch that there's another zombie spawner up this way somewhere. Yes. Just based on um, what we were experiencing yeah, there while was we were waves of zombies. working on this. Yeah. Um, and if we do find it in a, in the future, we're gonna connect it. And truck the zombies over to the same spot so it's like twice as efficient. Exactly. Look at this thing go. Wow. This is so satisfying. This is so, this is so cool. I've actually never had one of these before. The XP is rolling in. This is so great. This is so, so great. So now we have a reliable XP farm for our enchanting projects, which is exactly. really the main purpose for this. But you can also trade rotten flesh, which is cool. Yeah, uh, so anyway, we got this working spawner up and running. And so let's uh, close the episode back out at the ravine. We are having so much fun with this XP farm. We let it build up. There's probably like 40 zombies. Whoa, look at the XP! Whoa, look at the XP. This is There's crazy. probably like 40 zombies in there. We had to put the slab here in order to keep the babies from jumping out. This is insane. I Oops. I think it's the... You're, you're hitting keyboard? me with the sword, yeah. No, it's, it's the, it's the um, sweeping edge damage of the sword. Is yeah, I know, I know. I don't, I, I'm not <laughs> trying to, at least. No, it's all good. I have twenty. I got 26 rotten flesh just from jumping down on that block. Down in here. So this is yeah, the collect area. that's the collect. They could hit you from there, so be careful, though. All right, keep going, keep going. I'm going to try to get these... Can't kill them fast enough. This is insane. And unfortunately, that's all the time we have left for today. But in the next episode, we're going to pop over to the villager breeder and see what's going on over there. Hopefully get that up and running. Um, but anyway, guys, uh, we'll see you next time.